When I was young, Ka told me a story about a baby tiger who was separated from his family at a very early age. He was lost wandering the forest for days without food or water. He stumbled across a herd of llamas who knew this baby tiger was no threat. They cared for him by treating him as their own, feeding him and nurturing him as part of their herd. The tiger grew up believing he was a llama and did everything a llama does, hopping around, grazing on foraged food and plants. At a time before the laws of the forest, survival was the chief priority. None of the other llamas told the tiger the truth, that he was, in fact, a tiger. Why share the truth now that the herd was safe from predators? What animal would attack a herd with a tiger? One day, the herd came across a pride of tigers enjoying the meat of their latest kill. He was frightened by them in the distance, but admired their strength and size. Who are they? The tiger asked. Those are tigers, the llamas replied. Stay away from them. They are the kings of the jungle and are feared by all. Suddenly, one of the tigers let out a loud roar that shook the trees. The llamas fled to safety, and from then on, they kept their distance from predators big and small. With each passing day, the tiger wanted to run faster than his family, but kept calm and walked slowly with the herd. The tiger had overwhelming urges to roar like the king of the jungle he once saw, but kept this energy buried beneath his inner self in fear that his family would be frightened. Or worse, that they would not love him for his true identity. The tiger lived the rest of his life with the llamas and passed away as an old llama. Do you know why I'm telling you this story? Don't be so afraid of every small twist and turn in life. The tiger ignored the roar of his inner self. No matter what happens or how long you spend with us, never underestimate what you're capable of doing. Excerpt from The Adventures of Rockford T. Honeypot 